so it was time to harvest some late spring vegetables from the garden and I decided to start with this Savoy cabbage it did not look too good on the outside but from my experience I know that when I pull those leaves off there's usually something beautiful underneath and that was the case with this little head of cabbage so I was very pleased and I went on to make my salad I also wanted to grab some carrots looks like I'm ending up with a lot of orange carrots this time I think I planted the multicolored carrots but most of them have ended up being orange now up in the container garden I wanted to go ahead and clean up the cabbage so I took off the root end and now I'm going to pull off the tops of the carrots you can eat those carrot tops but I really don't prefer the flavor and then I had this beautiful fennel bulb over here and I needed to go ahead and harvest it because I was going out of town and you do not want your fennel bulbs to get too mature they're very tough and so for the dressing for the salad I want to add a little bit of an orange flavor so the calamondin zest will be great in that along with a little bit of tarragon and then one scallion will be good too, along with a few nasturtiums. And then I have some black walnuts that I harvested in the fall. So I'll be using some of these as well. Now here are the ingredients if you'd like to jot them down. They'll also be below the video if you'd like to print them out. And as always, you can do a screenshot with your device. So one more look at the ingredients. We have our herbs, our tarragon and the nasturtiums, the cabbage, the fennel, the calamondins, and then the black walnuts and some chive blossom vinegar that I made earlier in the spring but you can use white wine vinegar if you don't have this some carrots a granny smith apple some honey a little salt a lemon and some mayonnaise I made this mayonnaise it has a little bit of a garlic and lemon flavor so I went ahead and cracked some of the black walnuts and um, picked the meat out of those so now we'll prepare the cabbage. I just cut it in half. At this point, you can cut out that little core there with your knife if you want to, but I usually just cut around cores when I prepare cabbage. So I just very, very thinly sliced it with a very sharp knife, and we'll just slice this almost like it's shredded all the way to you start to feel some resistance and you'll know you're reaching the core. And at that point, I'll just stop and then I'll go ahead and put all this cabbage in some ice cold water so this will help keep it crisp and now flip it over and continue cutting around the core and we'll just toss it around in the cold water make sure it's all nice and coated and now for the fennel I went ahead and cut off the fronds and put those aside because we can use those and with this bulb I do want to cut out that core so in a little triangle shape I'll just pull that out and I'll also thinly slice this I'm going to do the fennel quite differently than I did the cabbage I went ahead and plunged it into some boiling water and I let it boil on the stove for about 30 seconds to one minute I'm just blanching them here and I want to stop the cooking process by putting them into cold water fennel can sometimes be a little tough um, this is pretty young fennel so I'm not going to have much of a problem with it but I did want to soften it up just a little bit more and that's what that will accomplish so it will make my salad very nice and I'll go ahead and also take off the carrots with my little julienne vegetable peeler I get so many questions about this I'll leave a link before you below the video where you can get your own vegetable peeler that cuts things into little strips like this I think I love it I use it all the time and I'll do the same thing with the little granny smith apple and I want to also let you know this ice water is actually lemon ice water okay so I put a little bit of lemon juice in here probably about a tablespoon not too much just to keep the apple from turning brown it's not really too critical for the carrots but I wanted to make sure that my apple does not turn brown so I'll just toss them really good in the lemon water and I'll set that aside while I get some of the other ingredients ready so I went ahead and toasted off the black walnuts um, just a few minutes in the toaster oven they'll burn pretty pretty quick so I don't want to burn them so keep an eye on those and now I'll make the dressing so with my mayonnaise I'll add a little bit of the chive blossom vinegar along with the honey the calamondin now I like to use this fine zester versus using a coarse zester and I just do it upside down so I kind of gives me an idea of how much zest I'm getting there sometimes it's hard if you have it turned around and then a little pinch of salt and then I'll just combine this really good I want to get a nice creamy consistency I don't want it to be too thick um, now this is really kind of a personal preference okay as far as the consistency of your dressing and I'll show you that here in a minute but we'll go ahead and add the tarragon too 
and you can actually if you don't have tarragon I think basil would be nice as well so we'll go ahead and dry off the cabbage really well because we're going to dress it we want to make sure that it's nice and dry so just with a little um, paper towel I can just pat it dry and I'll do the same thing with my fennel apple and carrot mixture now we'll just combine them and um, I am just going to dress this very lightly and as I mentioned it might be something that is a personal preference if you want to add more dressing and make it really creamy you go right ahead I just wanted to keep it kind of um, crisp and light and so that's what I did and also when I say one head of cabbage that's different for everybody so you might have a lot of cabbage and this dressing might not be enough for you so um, keep in mind you may want to make more dressing or you want to be careful as to how you're adding it like me I'm just putting half of it in right now and then I went ahead and add the scallions and the walnuts and I added some tips of the fennel fronds and then I added the rest of the dressing because I felt pretty comfortable that I was not adding too much but you know like I said you might want it to be a little more creamy so keep that in mind and we'll just toss it really well and just to make sure everything's nice and coated you might want to taste it at this point just to see how it's dressed so I felt pretty good about this and transferred it to a little plastic container where I could put it in my refrigerator gave it a few nasturtium petals and the first way I ate it was just with a little fish a little grilled fish and it's really good that way I hope you can give this recipe a try soon it's nice and light and just delightful here in the late spring early summer and for more recipes and other gardening ideas you're welcome to head on over to my channel page where over there I have a playlist button where you can click that and it'll take you on over to a lot of different playlists that I have organized by recipes and gardening tips something over there for everyone and if you haven't already please subscribe and feel free to share this on your favorite social media platform I sure would appreciate it I'm only on YouTube and Google Plus so thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day